Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin Leo. You could be lacking in energy this week. I'm seeing that to be able to help this, uh, help yourself in this situation, you, you may finally decide that you're getting yourself back into a routine where it, it helps you for, you know, for you to boost your mood or, you know, brings your energy levels to their highest point. And I, I know it's, you know, it, it was so easy to let go or to stop altogether. And once you did that, it was just way too difficult for you to get that back. The path to where you were transforming for the better and, you know, you were balancing out any emotions. You were all about strong vision and there is that sort of lacking in that area this week, which needs attention. Uh, but it's entirely up to you, as I always say, what you do and how you do. It's just that there will be that lack of energy and this has the potential to last all week. You are focused on work, career, nonetheless. It is definitely through the roof for you. You are speaking to a lot of, I'm seeing executives, people that are higher ups, management in terms of where you see yourself. There is a lot of discussions that are being had, conversations where you would like to eventually see yourself. For example, in the next five years, for you, it's all about long-term planning. So you're encouraging yourself to speak up, which is great. You've got a lot of opinions. You've, you're very opinionated this week. I'm seeing when it comes to your health, I'm seeing some sort of pressure or pain around the legs. I'm also seeing around the arms, but to do with the glands as well. So sleeping not so good could be better. I am seeing that you could be on edge about a lot this week. You could be susceptible to unleashing certain parts of your personality, even this week, that you probably... Uh, are not doing this intentionally, but due to lack of control or something that is hard to level out in terms of yourself. If, if you're not setting boundaries, you could get yourself into a little bit of uh, trouble or a bit of a quarrel with people near and far. This is definitely on its way. I do see that you could be at opposites this week. And what I mean by that is you are overanalyzing, you're overthinking way too much, but then you go and make a decision at the last minute because you didn't think it through at all. And, and then it's it's your emotions. You, you could be really sad one minute and then you, you're on fire the next. You're, you're going from one extreme to the other, complete opposites and complete extremes at the same time. You know, uh, happy to extreme sad or extreme happy to extreme mad. So there are those two opposites that are really mucking with your emotions, mucking around with your emotions this week. Uh, as much as I want to say it isn't fair, it's something that you can you yourself can only control. This is by way of how you choose to approach a situation you've been dealing with. A lot of people and places that have, for such a long time, have been really unclear to you. And this is this has a lot to do with your path and it has a lot to do with how you view the world, not just the people around you, the entire world as a whole. This is allowed, uh, has allowed for you, uh, you know, a lot of that built up anger or frustration to come out. And you have almost seen a different side to yourself, but now I think we can take it down a notch and this week is is what could be about love and healing and grounding remaining calm listening controlling that negativity neutralizing anger rather important thank you leo